Hello, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to create the particles based on the texture. So first we'll create the Nigra system. So right click effects and select this Nigra system and select this option and click on next. And in this case, we are going to create the empty particle emitter. So select this, click on add, finish. And just we'll give the name like Nigra system underscore like star and just double click on this. So now here we don't have any particles. So now first we'll create the base emitter. So here in the emitter update, I will click on this and search for spawn rate. So select this. So after adding, just uh, if I go to the selection and here we can increase the spawn rate. So let's have it due to like 10. And now if you click on display, so see now it has been created the particles. So now we will add the velocity for these particles as the particles are staying in the same position. So in the particle spawn, click on this, add velocity, and just you click on this fix issue. So it will add these all forces and velocity. So now when you click on display, so default rate is going to the Z axis. So here I will select the velocity mode to in core. And now you click on display. So now default rate is going in like X direction. So here, what I will do is just, I want the particle should go in the Z direction. So here I will give the value to zero in the X and let's say I will give the value one in the Z axis. So now if you see, so the particles are going in the Z direction. And also if you want to increase the velocity of the particle, so here you can see velocity speed. So just I will give the value to like 50. So now the velocity will be a little bit faster and also we'll change the size of this uh, particle. So if I go to this initialized particle and you can see there is an option like sprite size mode and here I will uh, select this random uniform. So here we will get the random size of these particles and also we will add the random uh, lifetime to this particle. So here I will select this to random. So let it be like a default like one to two. So now we'll create the material. So just I will minimize this and right click material. So let's say like a uh, mat underscore like star. So just double click on this. So here in the settings, if you go to the blend mode here, I will uh, select it to like translucent and also like a uh, shading to unlit. So this will remove the base color and also we will uh, import the texture. Uh, so just I will drag it from my system. So this is the texture I'm going to use. So just I will drag into Unreal Engine. So this is a simple base texture. If you double click, you can see this is a PNG image, uh, which I have created in the Photoshop. So I will, so I have to drag this into the material editor and just, uh, we need to drag into the material editor. So if you double click on this, so just, I will drag this texture. So I will connect this RGB to MEC color and this alpha to opacity. And now we got this uh, star shape and the preview is showing on this sphere. Uh, so here I will select this plane. So now you can see we got this star texture and now save this material, close it. And now go to the particle system. So now we need to browse that material in this emitter. So here in the sprite renderer, uh, you can see there is an option. You can browse the material. So here you can select this like star this material and now you can see we got this star texture so here the particles are generating from one point uh, so we can generate the particle based on the selected shape uh, so in order to do that in the particle spawn uh, you can search for like shape location so select this shape location and here in the shape location we can select any type of uh, material here suppose if you want to generate the particles using the torus you can use this thing so now the particles will generate based on the shape of this torus. So for time being, I will select this sphere. So now if I zoom out, see now it is generating uh, based on the sphere. And also the size of the sphere is very big. So we can uh, decrease it to like 20 or something. So now you can see. So we can uh, increase the scale. So if you go to this initialized particle and here I will give the value to like uh, 20. And let's say just I will give the value to like 45 or something. And now the particle lifetime is very less. So if you go to this uh, lifetime, let's say I will increase to like 1.5 to like three or something. And now we will have the random scale for this particle. So here in the particle update, uh, you can search for scale sprite size. So select this. 
and here you will get the default curve. And here now what the thing is, the particles are starting from zero to, so if you select this uh, curve here, now the value is zero and here it is going to one. So we can reverse the curve. So if you reverse this, now you can see uh, the particles are going to start with one and end with the zero here. Yeah. And also if you want to uh, add more size, you can go to this graph and if you press F, you can see full graph. So if you want to add a point, you can add a point by using the middle mouse button. So you can adjust this. So according to your requirement, we can change the scale of this particle. And also if you want to smooth this curve, you can select this uh, right click, you can use this auto. So you can get this like thing, like tangent handles. So now you can able to have more control on the size of this particle here. And now we will add the color for this particle. So if you go to the particle update and select, you can search for like color. So I will select this color. And now if you uh, change the color, so see still it is not updating the color of this particle because now the colors are generating based on the textures which we have imported. So we need to make some changes in the material editor. Uh, so just I will stop this and go to the material editor, double click. And here we need to take another node called like particle color. So select this particle color. And now we need to multiply this. So just I will take and multiply node. So what the thing is just we need to connect the RGB of this one here and select here. And just we need to connect it to MEC color. And now click on this save. So if I minimize and if I go to the particle system and now you see it has been updated. So now you can change the color of these particles. So whatever the color you want. So let's say if I give the value to like pinkish or something. And now what the thing is, if you want to add the multiple color, you can uh, go to this option and just you need to select a uh, color from curve. So here, uh, let's say if I double click on this, so let's say if I give the value to like red or something. And also here, if I double click and let's say I will change it to like a uh, greenish or something. And now you click on this okay. And here we can uh, use this opacity. You can double click on this opacity and you can give it to like 100%. And also we can change the position of this thing. So in this way, and now we got this multiple color. And now if you click on this play, so now we got this multicolor particles. And also if you want to add the glow, if you double click on this thing and here you can see we can add the glow. Let's say if I give the value to like 10 or something, now we'll get this glow. And also if you want the glow for the green color, so just you can double click on this green and you can add the glow. Let's say we give the value to like five or something. So it will be more like two. Yeah, that's okay. So now we got this nice uh, glowing effect particles. So now we will make some changes in the particles. Uh, so like you now the particles velocity is less. So now suppose if I go to this spawn rate, I will increase the number of spawn to like uh, 40 or something. So this will increase the number of particles. And also in the initialized particles, we will increase the range, means like the lifetime of this particle, let's say like four or something. And just we'll give it to like two. And also in the velocity, just I will add the velocity to like a uh, hundred or something. So now if you like zoom out, so now we got this thing and I think the glow is very uh, high for this red color. So if I go to this color and here, if I double click, just I will uh, give the value to like five or something. And also we'll add some noise. So here I will go to the particle update, search for noise. So select this vector noise force. So now you'll get the random direction of this thing. It means like you can increase the force amount. Uh, let's say if I give the value to like 300 or something, so it will spread more. See, now we got this nice effect. And also we will add the random rotation for these particles because all the particle rotations are same. So just if I go to the particle update, so search for rotation. So sprite rotation rate. 
So select this. And here we want the random range. So here you can select and search for random range float. So we can give the rotation values from minimum to maximum. Let's say if I give the maximum to like uh, 250 or something. So see, now we got this random rotation of these particles. So if you want, if you don't want this much of rotation, we can uh, decrease the value. So you can give the value to like 50 or something, uh, let's say like 10 or something. So now we'll get this random rotation of these particles. So in this way, we can generate the particles based on the textures. So that's it for this tutorial. See you in the next video.